part per million is a unit of concentration that we can use to give us a kind of good idea of something that's really, really dilute. Now, a part per million is defined as having one of something per million of something. And so it's really not defined beyond that, but usually we'll see it used as one gram of substance in, in one million grams of solution. However, that also is kind of difficult to work with. So what we usually do is we divide each of these into a thousandth of a unit. So we go with one milligram, which is a thousandth of a gram, and then a thousand grams, which is also one kilogram of solution. So we look at how many milligrams we have per kilogram. So when I see 0.01 parts per million arsenic, what I would read that as is I would say it's 0.01 milligrams of arsenic per one kilogram of solution, which for most aqueous dilute solutions is going to be approximately one liter of solution. Now from there, we can put that into a more common unit. Instead of milligrams per liter, we can look at that in terms of molarity by doing a couple simple conversions. First of all, we want to change milligrams into grams. And then second of all, we want to change grams uh, into moles. So 74.92 grams of arsenic is equivalent to one mole. And so if I track here, what I've done is I have changed from milligrams to grams and grams to moles. And so I've created a molarity unit. Okay. So when I go ahead and multiply all this out and get my answer, that's going to be the molarity. And that comes out to be 1.33 times 10 to the negative seventh molar, okay? Which is a very, very small number. We're looking at 0.00000133 molar. It's much easier for us to talk about it in terms of parts per million at 0 0.01. Additionally, we can also write this as 10 parts per billion, okay? Where it'd be one gram per billion grams, and therefore it'd be a thousand times greater. So let me go ahead and give you one to work on. And then if you want to freeze, you can. Uh, so another regulation is for lead, it's recommended, it's not a strict amount in the same sense as it was before. Go with that color. That we work with 15 parts per billion lead. Let's assume it's lead two here for a second. Uh, and really lead is something that bioaccumulates and so you don't want any lead if you can avoid it. Um, but this would be point 0 0.015 parts per million of lead is kind of your action level of when you should take action and there's, there's far too much lead and it's getting to the point of being. So if you want to try and figure out what that would be in molarity, go ahead. And then I'll go ahead and start working on just one second. Um, if you want to pause, you can go ahead and figure that out. So 0 0.015 parts per million, I would write down as 0 0.015 milligrams of lead per one liter of solution. Okay, so again, I'm gonna change milligrams to grams. And then I'm also gonna change grams to moles. So 207.2 .2 molar mass of lead. So we've again set up a situation where we're going to cancel milligrams into grams, grams into moles, and we end up with moles per liter, and the answer came out for me to be 7.24 times 10 to the negative 8 molar as our lead concentration. So 0 0.015 parts per million translates to 0 0.000000724 molar.